Well, good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome to the ABB FIA Formula E press conference ahead of the BMW i Berlin E Prix. As you can see, we have uh, Nico Rosberg, a Formula E investor and Hugo Boss ambassador, and Alejandro Agag, the founder and CEO of Formula E this afternoon. Nico, firstly, a very warm welcome to, uh, to Formula E. What first sparked your interest in the championship? Um, yeah, good day, everybody. Great to be here. Um, thank you, Alejandro, for the for the invitation as well. And um, I've um, I mean, I've been following what Alejandro has been doing in the last couple of years. And for me, some time ago, it became quite clear that this thing is going to take off um, because e-mobility is the future, and this is the coolest e-mobility out there. Uh, it's really showcasing the technology, showcasing the future. Um, so I was pretty sure that the interest was going to go uh, go ballistic and, and really grow more and more. And this is proof, you know, uh, I remember seeing this uh, press room a couple of years ago at the first couple of races. There wasn't uh, quite so many people, but today a lot of people, a lot of you have come because the championship is just growing, it's becoming fun to watch. Um, and the manufacturers are coming in, you know, and it's, it's yeah, it's a, it's a great time for, for Formula E and I'm very proud uh, to be a part of this. Um, and and see, uh, see the action out there, and even more so, I'm really looking forward because I just drove the Generation 2 car through town. A couple of donuts was already good fun, but now I want to take it out on track because I think that's going to be pretty awesome. How, how was it driving through the city? Uh, great, yeah, it was special. I mean, this is my, my capital city, so for me to drive uh, and showcase the Generation 2 car, showcase e-mobility here in my capital city, past all the landmarks, was was great and a lot of a lot of people out there were, were excited when we were coming by you know and uh, I mean for them it was like a spaceship was coming by I don't think they were expecting something like that on the streets of Berlin and so it was uh, yeah it was nice Alejandro how was it for you having Nico driving the the Gen 2 car through Berlin so for me well I want to welcome officially Nico to to Formula E uh, we already done it he's been with us and it's great to have him and to have him in Berlin and to race for the first time to drive for the first time powering the generation two but I today is the last day of something that is taking a while and I remember very well when um, I was walking in Vienna to the FIA uh, prize giving ceremony and I get the breaking news on the way that Nico Rosberg is gonna retire from Formula One the night he was going to pick up his trophy as a world champion and I get to the venue, and who is just in front of me? I was wa walking with my wife, and he was in front of me, Nico and his wife. And as, as I saw the news, I said, I need to get Nico in Formula E. So, <laughs> so I, I wait for the dinner to pass, more or less, and then at the coffee, I kind of go to say hello to Jean Todd, and like go kind of, like this. <laughs> you remember that or no? I do. Yeah. I do. And um, his wife looks at me first and I say, Hi, I'm Alejandro Agag. I'm from La Ien. I'd like to talk to your husband. And she goes, Don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not getting into a race car. He's not going to race again. And I said, Listen, I don't know if he's going to race or what he's going to do, but you know, we need Nico in Formula e. So. For me, it's a great day today to, to be able to you know, share with uh, Nico this press conference and to be able to go. I was in the track where the cameras were in front of Nico around Berlin today. So it's a really great day for Formula E and uh, welcome again, Nico. Thank you so much for you know, supporting Formula E. An exciting day tomorrow as well, because obviously we'll have Nico on track in the Gen 2 car, the, the Jaguar um, e-trophy car as well. It's a sort of vision of the future, of Formula E's future tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting day because it's not only Nico driving the Generation 2, it's, it's myself driving the Jaguar. Um, oh, you're not? Uh, yeah, I'm going to drive, yeah, yeah. So, you know, watch out. Is that, a good, idea, is that a good idea, do you think? Or? We're, we're not going to drive at the same time, don't worry. Okay, no. That's good, that's reassuring. But, uh, you know, you, it's great to have the Jaguar. Um, it, it's amazing. I, just, I was just trying the car right now, I mean, trying, trying the seat, preparing to, to race, and I'm going to drive it at 2 p.m. And it's great to have Jaguar as a support race of, of the championship. I think it's great. I think there is great interest for, uh, for that trophy. And it's going to be a great uh, addition to our, uh, to our race day, because we race on one day. Um, so really, really happy to have both, both things starting on season five. And as we announced yesterday, both uh, 
the Gen 2 and the Jaguar Trophy. Well, I don't know if the Jaguar Trophy actually, but the Gen 2 will race for the first time in Riyadh. And so finally, from me, a word on Berlin. We've raced here every single year. It's a real uh, strong point of the Formula E calendar. Yes, it's the only city actually in the, in the calendar that we raced every, every season, the four seasons. We feel great in Berlin. We love this city. So one year we race in the streets. We love this venue of Tempelhof. I think it's, it's great. The teams love it. And I think it delivers great, great racing. So I, I would love to stay here forever, basically.